Hello everyone, how are you doing? I am doing well. I just wanted to make a vlog on this channel, which I know is not the huge, but I think I'm going to be making more, more, bleh. I think I'm going to be making more vlogs on this channel. Not that it's going to become a vlog channel or anything, but I used to have a channel where I vlogged almost every day. I vlogged from my job, which was at a vintage game store. And I had lots of fun stuff to talk about and I feel like every day I had like some new and exciting story to tell and when the store closed and I stopped working there, obviously, I didn't have as much to talk about so I would vlog. You know, I still tried to vlog often but it wasn't as often and then as, as I've gotten older and busier, I've vlogged less and less and it's been really hard for me to like keep up with that channel as well as my main channel and then I've got like a lot of new subscribers and I never really like promote my vlog channel so I feel like some people probably don't even know it exists. So what I've been considering doing is just kind of moving my vlog channel from there to here because I'm only vlogging like once a week or less anyways so why not bring those videos to more of my audience. So yeah, that's the context for what's going on here. So I'm going to try to like vlog a little more often and just give you like a personal heart to heart kind of thing going on. My vlogs aren't really like some people vlog and they're out in public and they're doing their life and they're sort of just like live journaling it, I guess. That's not really how my vlogs are. My vlogs are usually just like chats so take it or leave it that's fine um but anyways so what has been going on in my life since my last vlog well i think my last vlog was over a month ago maybe longer um as some of you guys know it's been like kind of a crazy <laughs> it's been kind of crazy for me i have been traveling a lot and then um my grandma passed away and i had to kind of go back and forth from my hometown to where i live now to help um you know, clean out her stuff and law stuff, legal stuff. So it's been, it's been a lot lately. And then, um, my husband's family was over recently and it's just been a total mess of chaos, but that is behind us now and I don't have to travel for two whole weeks. So I'm going to try to get some work done. I'm really excited. I have these new lore videos coming up, which I think by the time that you see this video, the first one will be up, but I want to do these like really fun, like bite-sized tinfoil hat lore type videos for Overwatch where it's like the first one I'm going to do is um, Sombra is Mr. Robot, which is basically outlining all of the similarities between Sombra, the character that isn't been released yet and hasn't been released yet, and Elliot from Mr. Robot. And I have another one planned that's like Reaper is basically Deadpool. Um, outlining all of their similarities and I'm really excited about it because I think these could be just really fun quick videos that you know make you think a little more about where game designers are kidding their ass inspiration from I can't talk at all today it's, you know what the problem is it's not even that hot outside right but I have to turn off my air conditioning when I'm filming in here so it like so quickly gets hot with the lights and the no air flowing so even though it's like actually a tolerable temperature outside today because my office is upstairs and the lights and no AC it's like already 80 in here and I just I don't do well in heat I get very discombobulated I'm very very excited for winter I know everybody else in the whole world likes summer I like winter because I hate being hot I hate being hot I would much rather be cold and bundle up because there's just no amount when you're hot there's nothing you can do to make yourself less hot like I'm hot right now there's nothing I can do about that like if I turn the AC on it's not going to undo the fact that I'm all gross and sweaty and ugh, I, I hate being hot but I digress what else has happened lately um, I've been working on getting some of my St. Jude rewards done um, if you're maybe one of my newer subscribers and you don't know I work with St. Jude every year and we do like a big fundraiser to raise money for the kids and families and um, this was our third year participating in 2016 and we raised like almost $53,000 in the month of May which was really exciting and I did a bunch of really cool rewards for people who donated as well as milestone rewards for people who participated. Now the rewards for everybody who donated, all the digital rewards will be out by the end of August. The physical rewards are going to take a little bit longer because um, the big reward was that anybody who donated $500 or more to St. Jude, I would paint them something and mail it to them, but I was not anticipating that so many people would donate that much money and I didn't have like enough paintings and now I'm like trying to catch up and I, it's not like I want to like throw them together and then be crap. Like I would like to be proud of the things I'm sending out. So it's taken me a while to catch up and I don't want to, I want to make sure I have all of them done so that I can let people choose and I want to have like five or six extras that even like the last person to choose still has like 
a choice. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what's holding that up. Plus, it's going to be very expensive, like super, super, super expensive. I'm actually afraid of that. When I send out the emails for, you know, choose your painting, I'm going to be like, and if you would like to pay for your shipping, I wouldn't decline that because it's going to cost me like $25 or $30 per painting to ship out. And that's within the U.S. I don't even want to know how much it's going to be to ship internationally. I'm scared, but yeah, so that's what's going on there. But I'm also working on getting some of the milestone rewards done. Um, you guys saw I did the, um, I lost my train of thought. I've done a couple of them. Like I did the, I obviously dyed my hair rainbow and it's, it's not rainbow anymore, but it was rainbow for a little while. I got my tattoo um, for St. Jude. Right now, if you see that it's like shiny, this has a tegaderm dressing over it. Uh, this has been on for like a day and a half. For those of you who aren't familiar with tegaderm, it's the clear um, bandage type thing that they put on people who have like road rash or like a really bad burn and you put it over a tattoo after it like, Okay, so if any of you guys are queasy or unfamiliar with tattoos, I'm sorry, but tattoos, the first couple days that you have them, depending on how much color you have and how much is really, like, packed in there, they, like, kind of ooze. That's just the thing they do. It's like your body, like, there's plasma that helps your body heal and sweat and sometimes blood and excess ink, and it's just gross. Um, so when you do the tegaderm method, usually when you get your tattoo, they'll put a regular, like, bandage on, and you leave that on for, like, I don't know, it depends on kind of what time you get up, but usually like 12 or 18 hours, depending on what your life situation is like. And then rather than doing a typical method where you would clean it and put some sort of ointment on it and then maybe wrap it in plastic or leave it to dry, um, you don't put anything on it. You wash it really, really clean and then you um, either pat it dry or let it air dry. You wash your hands really good and put gloves on and then you apply a tegaderm dressing right over top. What the tegaderm does is it keeps all of your body's like natural healing things on the tattoo without allowing it to scab because the bandage is breathable and it allows some moisture to escape but it doesn't allow like liquid to escape and it doesn't allow liquid to get in and it doesn't allow outside things to get into it because if you're walking around with your tattoo open it's like walking around with an open wound and you know if somebody brushes up against it you can get lint and dust and dirt and just can get dirty and infected and it's not good so um I've changed this a couple times some people it depends on how much their tattoo is like oozing and bleeding and being gross but um mine was pretty bad for the first couple of days because as you can see there's just a lot of color it's a very large tattoo um it took nine and a half hours I was at the tattoo shop from two to one in the morning like I got there at 2 p.m and I left um a little before one in the morning we probably didn't actually start tattooing until after three and we took a couple breaks but all in all I sat for nine and a half hours in one day um but I'm happy that I got it all done in one day because I feel like that it gets good. Anyways, so I, <laughs> I put the regular bandage on, took it off the next day, put Tegaderm on, um, and that piece of Tegaderm lasted just the day. Like normally you can leave it on for like over a week. Like that's fine. You don't have to clean it. It can get gross under there and that's fine. Um, but mine, the first piece, because so much stuff was still oozing out, it didn't, it lost its seal. And as soon as it breaks its seal, you have to put a new one on because once it's exposed to air, it's no longer sterile, which is the whole point. Um, and I did end up having to change the dressing like three times in the first two days because of, you know, leaking and well, and just not good stuff. But this piece has been on since... Saturday afternoon and today is it's now Monday evening and it's it, there's not really any buildup or anything under there so I'll probably leave this on until it wants to come off and then I won't put another piece on but what's cool is that rather than it forming any sort of scabs Tegaderm prevents that you know all that oozy stuff from forming a scab on the outside and your body either reabsorbs it and it helps you heal better or it'll you'll just wash it off when you take the bandage off but you pretty much skip the whole scabby gross phase and most people when they take their tegaderm off after about a week it's at that first like soft peeling phase and your tattoo heals a lot faster it's also nice because when you get tattooed it's obviously very raw and rough and um, I don't have to worry about touching it or if somebody runs into me it's not going to be like excruciating it's just protected and it's a lot less painful you can shower with them on and everything um, I wish I had taken pictures of how much mine pooled the first couple times because you guys would have gotten a kick out of it it was so gross but <laughs> um, yeah so I will make sure that I show you guys pictures and stuff once it's all healed if you want to see better pictures I have pictures like on my Instagram and stuff and I did video her tattooing it 
but it's not all that great of a video because my memory card only holds six hours of video. So I, I only have the first six hours of the tattoo. There is no, there's no, like most of the color is not captured. <laughs> oh, but I'm going to be making Once This Heals an updated tattoo video and I'll make sure that I show some footage from that in there if you've ever, I don't know, maybe you've never seen a tattoo being done or I don't know, but I'll just put little bits and pieces in there. I'm certainly not going to put all six hours in, but because it wouldn't even be that, excuse me, the hiccup, it wouldn't even be that interesting because you don't even see the completion of it. But yeah, so that's what's going on there. And um, I think that's all the exciting stuff in my life. Also, I have a bunch of stuff that I got from my P.O. box that I figured I could unbox here instead of on my main channel or on my vlog channel because I just think... The problem with my vlog channel currently is that because I haven't been uploading a lot lately, like, people aren't getting notifications when I do upload, so I feel like even the people that want to watch my videos aren't really seeing them, so I don't know, it just doesn't seem like the best of ideas. This is a, oh my god, so this is a letter that was sent to my P.O. box, and it is a printout of a tweet, <laughs> and one, the first tweet is from me, and it says, you don't need to wait. It's the principle that's upsetting to me more than the money. And someone said, oh, okay, so context. I did a video about Overwatch a while ago that got a lot of views, and um, <laughs> the Latin America Overwatch channel copyright claimed it, but it wasn't like a rightful claim, so I, I like didn't make any money on that video at all, even though it got like a half a million views because it took them so long to get the copyright claim taken care of. Um, and someone had tweeted me and said, I can, I'll wait to watch the video until, I'm sorry, my hair's doing weird things. Someone was like, I will wait to watch the video until the monetization situation is taken care of. And I said, you don't need to wait. It's the principle that's more upsetting to me than the money. And then someone responded, um, this is Kim Brielle. This is, she sent this to me. Everyone who missed the ad in the video, <clears throat> reading is hard and words are hard. Um, <laughs> Kim Brielle said, everyone who missed the ad that watched the video could just send you like one cent. Hashtag pennies for Panzer. And she mailed me a penny, which is hilarious and adorable. I swear to you, I'm giving up on words forever. Um, that is adorable and hilarious. I love her. She mods my St. Jude streams and she's the best. Um, so thank you. Hashtag pennies for Panzer. Um, the next thing, okay, so these two are from the same person. So I'll do this one next. This one is from Amazon, so I don't... Oh, God. Okay, there's going to be plastic noises. I'll try to hurry. Okay. Is it shoes? What? I think it's shoes, guys. That just fell. What's it say? So this is from someone named Robert, and... Oh, my God. It's nice shoes. It's boots. That's exciting. Oh, my God. No one ever sends me stuff like this. I get a lot of, like, art and stuff like that, which is great, by the way. In my P.O. box, I love getting art, and I love getting stuff like that. But, like, I mean, I do like shoes. I'm a big fan of shoes. Let's see if they fit. Oh, well, I mean, there's things inside the feet right now. So, as of this second, they're totally not going to fit. But maybe they'll fit once I get that out. And zip. Oh, yeah, they totally fit. Those are cool. I wear boots a lot. The laces need to be adjusted. They're, like, really loose in, like, the toe area. I have weird feet because I have kind of big feet. They're not, like, tiny little, like, size 6 dainty Cinderella feet or anything. But then, like, they're not wide at all. <laughs> like, nothing about them is wide. So, yeah, that's what they are. They're really cute. Thanks for sending me shoes. I'm, like, I'm, like, wearing bump. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, the zipper is on the outside? It's so weird. I just thought I had it on the wrong foot for a minute because of the zipper, but no. Usually when you have zippers on boots, they're on the inside, but this one's on the outside. See? Mwah. These are cool boots. Thanks for sending me boots, Robert. It's awful nice of you. All right. Moving on. These are all from, if you watched my St. Jude streams, these are from um, Travis, who we were calling Batman. <laughs> so he's awesome. He's sent stuff to my P.O. box before. I'm convinced he's just, like, the type of person that wants to, like, spread smiles in the world because it's not like, it's not like he just sends stuff to me. Like, he sends stuff to a lot of people just because he likes to make people smile. And I think it's super generous that, and he also donated a ton of money to St. Jude, a ton, like, 
I want to see what something like $9,300 total. My bangs are being super strange. Oh, there they go. They fixed them. All right, so hopefully I'm opening the right one first. There is a letter, and it says, Lady Panzeri's Storm Chat. My queen, somehow this fellow missed the portal, but with the power of our shaman and a little bit of hexing, we were able to shrink him and provide him an air bubble to send him to you through the power of this mysterious box. If the demons ever learn the power of the box, we will surely doom. <laughs> we... <laughs> Please be sure to unhex in five days or he'll be permanently stuck in this little form. Oh, it's Grey Worm! As you guys can probably see, I collect pops. Those are not even all of them. You can only see a couple of the shelves, but I have like almost all the Blizzard pops that were ever made. Oh, oh, oh my god, that fell. Um, so this is Grey Worm from Game of Thrones. He's cool. He's cool. And the other box is huge, so I assume it has more in it. Ugh. He sent a big box for Nick, too, for Nick's birthday. And Nick the whole time was just, like, opening the box, like, I, well, how does he know me so well? How does he get what I like so much? Like, I don't know, man. He's Batman. There's no figuring out Batman. Does this, speaking of which, did you guys see Suicide Squad? I really liked it. I really liked Suicide Squad. I was very surprised that it got the reviews it got. Because I thought it was great. There were a couple parts that I questioned, but then, like, I could have been not paying attention. That could have very well not been the movie having a problem. It could have been me. If, you, uh, if you're if you familiar with my vlogs or, or, anything, ugh, or anything like that, you guys know I have, like, ridiculous ADHD. It's, it's a problem. All right. So this one says, Lady Panzeri Storm Chat, my queen... We discovered that we are on a world that has been conquered by the Legion and that they plan to use this world as a staging ground to invade Azeroth. We watched as they corrupted powerful creatures into foul demonic monsters and people's souls were devoured to feed the fell machines. We knew we couldn't stand around and let these innocent people die, so we attacked one of the encampments and freed the people with their leader, a lady who had a very unique creature. The lady knew her world was doomed and asked us to save her people. Our mage, with the assistance of a warlock, has an idea to open a temporary portal back to our world. We'll send her and her people to you with this letter, pledging her, our support to House Chatgarian, while your loyal while your loyal crew seeks ways to halt the invasion. We are not prepared, but we will give our lives for this. This is amazing. He always does. It. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So this is like a Game of Thrones inspired like adult coloring book with like dragons and stuff. Very cool. Very cool. What else do we have in here? Oh my God, why is this so big? Why is this so, is this? Oh my God, stop. Okay, that's amazing. This is Daenerys riding Drogon, giant pop. Biggest pop of all time. There's more pops in here. Oh my God, there's so many pops. Oh my gosh, my dice aren't even up here. What's this? Oh, these are cute. They're little dragons. I don't know how well you can see them, but they're so cute. And there's three of them. Sorry for the plastic noises. There's three of them and they're all so cute. And then there's some more dice. that are all very cool. They have like kind of runic and dragony looking symbols all over them. They're very cool. I got to go get my dice container is downstairs. Um, All right, and then we have, oh, 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 I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like a dragon and he's like holding onto a D20. It's really, really cute. And then the last thing in here is an unsullied pop. So thank you so, so much for all of this stuff. Um, of course, you guys, I'm never, I never like ask anybody to send anything to my P.O. box. But if you want to send something to my P.O. box, the information is in the video description as always. To me. Oh my God, my hair. <sighs> my hair is like not cooperating with me whatsoever. But yeah, so thank you for all of this stuff. Thanks for sitting and watching my vlog and Letting me have a little heart to heart with you. I will hopefully be doing this a little bit more often, and I think that's it. So, yeah, thanks for all this stuff to my P.O. Box, Travis and Robert. I really appreciate it. And Kimbrielle, hashtag pennies for Panzer. And, um, 
yeah, I'll keep you updated on my tattoo situation. I'm also going to be doing an updated room office setup tour video because obviously things have changed. So I'm hoping that'll be out this week or next week. I also have to do my Draw My Life, which I've started, but I don't know. I think I'm going about it in the wrong way because it's taking a very long time. So I'm working on it. I will do my best. I promise. I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.